um, the oxygen reduction and encompasses different types of things, um, not just um, utility wear, but sculptures and things like that. Yeah, so it's more about the process than yeah. it is about the clay itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I also brought some silk. Um, these are, are hand dyed and stamped with the paint. So, so yeah, go go through the process of that hand dyeing and then stamping. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, so I start out with a white piece of silk, and you can use either dye or paint. It, when you say white piece, you mean it's just a blank, raw, natural raw yeah, color. Yeah, 100% silk. Mm -hmm. And um, so you can use you can use dye and paint. That's what I use anyway. I'm sure there's other lots of ways to get um, The dye you can see this was this is dye here, and you can see how it shows up pretty evenly on both sides. The paint is a little more opaque, so it's a little bit lighter on the back. So you could either you could do um, you know either one or or both together. And I actually use the dye and paint together, and sometimes um, I uh, I'll use them you know interchangeably on the same piece, not necessarily stamping, but even just painting. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, you want to show those too? I'd love to see those out a little bit. Is there a reason you soak um, as a just, fiber? It just takes to the dye really well. And it has a sort of scintillating brilliance to it as well. Yeah. And I don't think you get that from other fabrics. Right. Yeah. And you can, there's just many different types of silk too. Um, mm -hmm. This is a tie. This is, is uh, I believe this is a crepe. There's chiffon, satin, so just depending on the thickness you want and uh, mm. the style. So, but and they can, you know, you know, you can get these in all different sizes. So I just choose the scarves because they're easy to work with. Now that's that's hand hand painted, right? The little yeah, circles and stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what kind of um, paint is being used there? Um, so this is a. Um, Dynaflo paints with a Gouda Resist. I don't know what that and means I, at all. <laughs> and I brought, um, and I'm an artist. I brought some pieces that I could use to demonstrate if you like. Cool. Um, so, if you're interested. But Gouda yeah. is just, um, it's like a rubber. Oh, I see. That, and what it does is it blocks the flow. You can use it in different ways. You can use it as decoration, like I did here. Um, and then there's there's ways that you can use it to actually stop the pain from flowing, so that you can control it better. But it's really hard to control. What gives it that shiny quality? Um, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It has like a. You know, I'm not sure what's what's in it that does that, but you can you can find it in all different colors. It's a sort of metallic paint, like she said. Yeah, oh. and you can you can get it in clear, so it doesn't. Oh. So when you wash it, it just leaves a blank line, or you can get it. In these are all washable. These things. Mm -hmm. You want to hand wash them, <laughs> but they are washable. Mm -hmm. oh. Hand wash. Yeah. Are these silk screened, or is this all free? This is just all free hand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what was it? So. Beautiful. Cool. So, did you have some white underneath that? Is that some raw yeah, silk? Yes, so I left some some pieces of white there. No, I meant the white thing that's underneath that. Oh, this I was just covering this. the box. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to see that box. Kind of my makeshift display here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you usually dye? Scars, or have you done mm -hmm. other pieces? I've done like some fun. large pieces. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm working on. Now. What's that you're working on? I'm sorry. Some some larger wall hangings. Oh, wall hangings. Yeah. What size are they? Um, the last one I did was 48 inches. Like no, 40. No, I think it was 48 by 48. Yeah. And that's silk as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where do you get so, your silk? Um, there's a couple different places online. There's Dharma Trading. Um, there's some other places. That's know. Indian, isn't it? Well, it's a company. <laughs> of, 
on Tuesday. No, I don't have any idea. <laughs> Did they, where do they get their silk? They, they probably get them from China and Thailand. Thailand. Yeah. So it's becoming harder to find actual. And there's different types of edging. Um, now you'll see a lot more manufactured uh, machine sewn edging. Oh. These are actually um, hand sewn. And you can tell by the way it's ruled. So it's a little better quality. Um, so. You know, some are flat edge and machine sewn, which is just fine. It's just kind of a personal choice. And like I said, it's getting harder to find the hand sewn things too. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. cool. so I can do a demonstration if you like. Yeah, yeah I would.